Do you drive to work, school, or anywhere in Kern County? If you do, Kern Transit and other local agencies are encouraging you to find an alternate means of transportation this week. Let's bring in 23 ABC's Imani Stevens. She joins us in studio with more. That's right. Right Your Week kicked off Monday with the unveiling of Kern Transit's new electric bus. And starting this week, you can ride for free and help keep our air clean. Kern Transit is rolling out its first ever zero emission electric bus. Through a partnership with the state of California and the Antelope Valley Transit Authority in Lancaster, um, it ended up being essentially a gift to Kern Transit. So it's a $900,000 bus that we got for free. And for the rest of this year, you can take a ride. We're going to test it on local routes. Because of the guidelines of the grant, the bus will only be used in eastern Kern County starting early next year. Connecting to Hatchapi to Edwards Air Force Base. All right, thank you. With the hope that people will choose alternate modes of transportation even after rideshare week. Encouraging people to take the bus helps eliminate up to 30 cars because they have that many seats on the bus. But with it being electric now and zero emissions, that's even so much better for our air. Fewer cars on the road, less traffic. And Kern Transit Manager Bob Neath says the zero emission electric bus will also help the agency work toward cleaning the air in the county. We're, we're excited to get it on the road, find out what it can do, learn a little bit more about it, and then put it into regular daily service starting in February of 2020. The electric bus will be tested on routes here locally, and you can see this full list on our website, turna23.com. Live in studio, I'm Imani Stevens, 23ABC, connecting you.